as I'm joined by the company's chief executive, Mark Bristow. Hi, Mark. Hello. The numbers, as Manus was shouting <laughs> at the height of his voice, seem to be better than estimates. I mean, 34.4, the $26 million was the estimate. Any particular reason why you've beaten estimates? Yes, Mark, we've got some extraordinary items this quarter. We've got uh, additional uh, revenue from selling some shares. And uh, we had an, uh, a write back from uh, auction uh, rate securities that we settled. It was an issue we settled with the bank. All eyes on the, the, the Lulo mine in Mali. Investors want to know has the problem at the mine been totally rectified? Not totally yet, but certainly uh, it's on track. We've had a few teething problems with the expansion program on the mine. And uh, we've said by the end of the year we'll get back. We've adjusted the guidance down between 5 and 10 percent for the mine, which has about a 5 percent impact on our guidance for the whole group. Is that for the guidance year. fixed now, 5 to 10 percent? You're not going to further downgrade production targets? <laughs> Mark, never say never, but you know, I think on the back of that, a lot of exciting news as well in of the course. quarter. So, uh, at, um, r about a couple of weeks off, pouring our first gold in the Côte d'Ivoire yeah. in Tongan Mine. And, uh, and what's the output forecast there when you, when you kick off? We're saying about 80,000 ounces this year. It's also in, it's a ramp up, so it's a little um, of a range this year. But next year, about 295,000 ounces, so a good producer. And then we've brought the Congolese project forward six months or the target to start construction in the Kabali uh, project six months. Got to ask you about the price of gold. I mean, you, you wouldn't be the Rangold CEO if I didn't <laughs> ask you about the price of gold. I mean, it's, it's been a, a cracking year, hasn't it? I mean, 1,265 yeah. was the record, of course, yeah. on July the 21st. We're just below that now, 1-1. One, one, Nine four. You're always bullish on gold, aren't you? Well, I, I think yes at this stage, but we don't plan for a high gold price. I think that's what makes us different. We yeah. plan for good quality assets, long-term sustainable profitability. That's really what drives our company. But how high can we go? Give me figures. You know. I think that uh, you know I made my my forecast at 1,200 by Christmas last yeah. year worked. Um, you know, I think uh, into next year, $1,500. I think we're going to see another big correction in, in, in the market still. I don't think we're, uh, we're out of the woods uh, globally. Why, why do you think we're going to see a correction and what sort of correction? I think, uh, Mark, if you look at all the promises that have been made and how many have really happened, you know, all the green shoots that we saw a year ago uh, haven't materialized. I think, you know, uh, the, the world economy is in a really a tough place it's going to take so, some so time double to get out. Are we going I, back I believe, into double dip I believe globally? that that's a very real possibility. Really? Yes. I wish we had more time, Mark. We always <laughs> never have enough time. But thank you very much, Mark Bristol, their Chief Executive Officer. Rand Gold Resources.